Yeah, um, it feels like a, a little bit like a loss because of the goal we conceded. But, you know, it's up to us to, you know, to get tight at the back and defend and not concede them goals. But, you know, we got to go again and concentrate on the next game now. You, uh, in, in terms of it, as you say, what's, what were the pluses that you would take out of today's performance as a team? Um, I think we we done what the gaffer told us to do, you know, defend well as a team. I don't think they had many like clear cut chances and we had some ourselves. So I think in, in that way we done well. But obviously coming back to when we score a goal we need to learn how to, you know, how to keep a lead and see off the game. Do you think confidence when you've gone this long without a win at the valley, do you think confidence naturally becomes a factor in perhaps at home or not? Uh, I don't I don't think so. I think we're we've got enough experienced players and enough, you know, quality players around the club for not to, you know, not to, not for it to be on confidence. I think, as a team, we, you know, we're a good group. We always stick together through loss or draw. Do you know what I'm saying? So we done it last year. I'm sure we can do it again. Are you the type of person that, you know, when when you go away on Saturday and you haven't won, you sort of a bit a bit down or? Yeah, I think today, like I said to you, I think it feels like a bit of a loss because we were so close to winning the game. Of course, it's a, it's a valuable point at the end of the day, but. We should really and truly have three points, and yeah, it does, I'm not too best happy right now because I think I feel like we should have had the three points. Does it feel sort of a, a long time ago since you you went away on Saturday? Yeah, <laughs> and had that yeah, yeah, and had that will and feeling. Yeah, exactly. I always I always say it like when you win on a Saturday, it just makes the weekend a bit more, a bit more better. Whereas if you lose or a draw, it doesn't make your weekend that much that much better. Jordan, you played a lot of your football this season. Uh, it's been at the start. I found it a bit, you know, bizarre and getting used to because I've played most of my first team career midfield, uh, centre midfield. But I think you know, as the seasons come on, it's kind of kind of growing and like getting to like enjoy the position. Like I was, especially like when I, I think it started when I scored the goal against Wigan. I kind of thought to myself, maybe it is there is a future for me in the position. Obviously, my number one goal is to play in centre midfield, but I'm a young player. I'm just happy, you know, to be playing on the pitch. And I'm going to do the best. Like my best in wherever the manager puts me. And is today your third goal of the season? Yeah. Is that something you want to add to your game now? Just <coughs> more goals? Yeah, I think I've played enough games now to you know get the experience out the out the way. Now it's time to you know develop other aspects of my game, and goals is is one, and you know contributing to the team with assists as well. You've had a few new signings come into the mm -hmm. team. Uh, how have they settled in? Yeah, we've had a couple. You know, the keeper and. Um, Keeper and someone came on. I think um, came on, came on today. I think Lapointe came on today, and he helped me with the goal. So you know, he's just he just come in like this week. So obviously he's gonna have time to needs time to settle in because it's a big difference between European football and Championship football. But you know, hopefully they can help us. You know, and like make us better in the future. Would you personally like to see Bino for the window closing? It would help us. You know, but. It's not. It's not down to me. It's not my decision. You know, we've got to leave that to the people above, and just if they do, then good. But if they don't, then we just. I think we've got a good enough squad. You know, to progress. The new managers come in. Is it? Is it one thing that's brought in? You know, in your brief time so far. Uh, organization. I think um, he's set in his ways, and he wants us to be a very hard, like a team that's hard to beat. And that's what we. That's what we've been doing in training all week. You know, working on our shape and being hard to beat, and then. When we get the ball, you know, using our pace, our pacey strikers, and me and Johan, you know, to contribute with the goals. You had someone that is what is it, red hot at the start of the season, but obviously it's been a while since the goal came. Do you think that's just down to maybe just the attacking <coughs> supply line not quite being what it was in the early, in the early weeks of the season, early months of the season? Um, I don't think so. I think Igor's a quality striker, and you can't just rely on a. He scored eight goals, I think, this season. You can't rely on Igor just to chip him with the goals. It has to come from other places as well. I just think that in time when we just keep, you just got to keep going. Really, I think if we keep plucking and working hard in training, eventually the the match results will come. Are you aware of frustration within fans? You know, like, like when you're on, the <coughs> can, you, can you 
sense it. Yeah, we can. Of course, we can. We can sense it. But as players, we've got to be professional and we've got to concentrate on the on the job in hand. We can't really, if we concentrate on the fans, then I'm sure that's going to hamper our performance, like individually. So we've just got to, you know, put that in the back of our minds and you know, put in a hundred percent on the pitch. Ow.